everyone. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. Uh, I am Rich. Six String Fun. Uh, do something a little bit different today. Uh, never was a huge fan of Motley Crue. I mean, I certainly liked them, uh, but they were just never top five, top ten for me. I mean, just always dug them, but, you know, Rush, Springsteen, uh, Van Halen, and, and then just other things from there. So, uh, But this was always a tune that I liked. Uh, again, a lot of tunes that I do like, so don't, don't kill me for that. I'm just kind of being honest with you in terms of where they fall on my who I like scale, basically. But, um, you know, always dug this tune. Kind of just did it. It was a nice ballad. Home Sweet Home, Motley Crue, Theater, Pain album. I don't know the year. I'm going to say 85 or 86. So let me know if I'm even close on that one. Let me know. Um, but fairly straightforward with, with the chords, you know, at least for some of them. Got a C shape. I tend to add my pinky here just to uh, give it a little bit of a more of a high end. I walk the bass note down to the B. Now we're gonna do some some bar chords. So you gotta do the bar codes, bar code, uh, bar chords. So I got a B flat to the F, but we're also gonna have an A flat or it's a G sharp, depending on which way you're moving, um, to the B flat. And I'm gonna incorporate this C shape or this C bar chord here. Uh, I could do it here, but I just think for dynamics I like doing this. So um, really straightforward. But let's get into it. And I had to double check on this because I think typically a lot of the crew tunes, uh, they're tuned down half step, a whole step, just to kind of give it that heavier sound. I believe this is standard tuning, so uh, you don't really need to do anything unless you want to, I guess, but it uh, seems to work well this way. So let's kind of get into it. I'm just going to show you my strumming pattern, how I do it, whether or not it's just like the album. I don't know. Uh, I tend to make things my own. That's kind of what I you know, tell everyone here if you're watching the video. Make it your own. Make it sound like how you want to sound, especially if you're going from... A band like Crew to the acoustic guitar. Uh, make it your own. So this is how I would start off with with the tune. So I'm going to that C, and I get one or two strums on that traditional C, and I bring my pinky into that uh, high E string on the third fret. So. All I do is walk that bass note up, keeping, getting rid of this finger, but keeping that finger on there. I go to the B flat, to the F. And I guess the strumming pattern, you know, if you want to hear how I strum it. So every time I'm moving to a chord, it's kind of change. Right, so I kind of do it that way. Make it your own, whatever's good with you, right? So we'll go through it one more time. And then I'm on my way. A flat. To the B flat. Home sweet home. To that C. Back to the A flat, to the B flat. All right, we go back into it. Continue back to that chorus piece. Just set me free, oh sweet home. Now, uh, the solo is going to come in. Uh, the solo itself is actually pretty long, but what's going on here is we're going to play this. So you're, we're kind of going up and down these bar codes. Bar, man, I want to think of bar codes. Um, bar chords. continue and I believe it's gonna come back it's gonna end on that C I would think it's a good idea to end the, if you're playing the bar chords right 
I got it right actually. Um, the piano is going to come back in. I can just go back here. So it, even though I'm playing the same chord, um, it's giving it some dynamics. End of solo. And I think that's the tune for the most part. So make it your own. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a fun one to play. It really is. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, it's all good. Let me know what you're thinking. And we will go from there on the next one. So see you on the next video. Much appreciated. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey folks, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. I am Richie, Six String Fun. So uh, back to the 80s. Great era for music as far as I was concerned. We're going to go into uh, 82 or 81, I think it was. John Cougar. At the time it was John Cougar. Now it's John Cougar, Mellencamp, John Mellencamp. The album says John Cougar, I think. Uh, hurt so good. Love the video for this on MTV. I just thought it was cool. Don't ask me why. I mean, really, I'm a 10-year-old kid, I guess, at the time. 10 or 9, 10, I don't know. But it was cool. MTV was cool back then. At least MTV was MTV back then. So uh, we're going to get into this one a little, I don't say tricky, but we can we can go into some things here to make it a little more interesting, but we can keep it very simple as well. So let's get into it. Uh, Hurt So Good, John Cougar. I think the album was American Fool, I think. So uh, let's get into it. All right, here we go. Hurt So Good, John Cougar. Um, the intro, the way I'm doing this here on the acoustic, I'm actually hitting these three strings, two, three, four. And I'm borrowing, and I'm coming down on the A chord. So open two, three, four, and then second fret to make the A, a chord. And I'm going to a G to an E. So I kind of just go rock back and forth between the, uh, the that G and the and the E. Again. All right, and we go to the A. That A is kind of that transition from the intro to the main riff of the tune. Let's do it again. There's my G and the E. Again, barring the uh, that A chord here, very similar to the Jack and Diane, because you're playing this A and you're hammering into that that D with I guess that A in the bass basically, right there. So we're going from two 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 three two. So, A, D, D, three times, I guess. One, two, three, four. Okay. Back to the A. And then I'm going to, again, this is not moving. This is staying there. I'm using my pinky for the fourth fret of the fourth string. Okay. Open A again. So, all together. That turnaround is open E, second fret E, open A. All right, that's your intro. Verse is going to be A, E, 
F sharp minor, bar chord, to a D. Twice. I'm kind of making this my own. I'm thinking of the song in my head. I look. I'm assuming it's just guitar, right? Acoustic guitar. I'm just kind of playing guitar, but also thinking of it as a percussive instrument as well. Repeat it. E. Okay. With a girl like you is A to E. With a girl. You'll hear that chime, that ring. That's basically what I'm doing is an E chord, but I'm getting those first strings. Two and one and two. Okay, that's what that is. And it, then we go into, uh, I think it's sink your teeth right into these bones, it's an F sharp. D. Going to the chorus, all right. Very straightforward so far. That F sharp minor could be a little deter, uh, deterrent for some folks if you haven't done your bar chords. But the trick there is if you want to skip that bar two, three, and uh, excuse me, one, two, and three. Technically, it's an F sharp triad. You can get away with that. Let's see how it sounds actually. Not perfect, but it'll work. Let's see what we can do. Chorus A to E. Repeat it. Sometimes to a D. Sometimes love. F sharp to the D. And feel like it. You're gonna hold that for two measures. So all together. that all together that doesn't sound right And then we go into the uh, to the bridge. Start on D. So pretty straightforward. D. D. F sharp. A. So that F sharp is quick. To the D. My most enjoyable, part, uh, this most fun part of the song here is this A. Maybe we could just walk around. Is that 100% accurate? Probably not, but that's just how I play it. it. Sounds good. But I'm taking an E. Instead of playing the full E like we've been doing, I'm playing an E power chord, E5. Open 2-2. Two, two. So open 6 string, 2-2 two, two, on the 5th and the 4th. And I'm walking these bass lines between. So the bass lines I'm walking are on the fifth string between the second, fourth, and fifth fret. Just listen to the song and kind of find out the flow that you like. I'm just kind of making, making different ones up. Back to the chorus. Around. It sounds like it's going into the intro again, but it's not. It's just a quick turnaround and you're back into the chorus, but then you kind of just take it out for the rest of the song. So pretty straightforward. Uh, again, your main chords, A, E, D, F sharp minor. That's a tough one, but try that little cheat right there to, to try it. All right, there's a your, 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 your uh, triad right there. Um, I think we got them all. E, F sharp, D, A, and then... There you go. All right, so hopefully you liked it. See you in the next one. 
like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do so that way you know when there's more stuff coming out, all right? See you later. Hey, my friends, what's going on? Got a good one today. At least I think it's a good one. Simple, I think. I think we're talking about three chords, tops, um, and it's ACDC, so it kind of fits the mold, I guess. But we're going to do it on the acoustic guitar. Great one to play. Um, campfire, you kind of just jam with some folks, guitar laying around. Everyone's a sing-along. Everybody knows this one. Um, do you know, it was, I think it was the Back in Black album, so it goes back a little bit further than maybe most people think. Uh, but great tune. Uh, loved it. Still love it to this day. Uh, and if I remember correctly, when I did see them in 2000 at the Garden in New York City, they opened with this, which was kind of odd, but it was kind of cool because it got everybody, everybody going. Um, so let's take a look at this. You Shook Me All Night Long, ACDC. Uh, again, I think it's from the Back in Black album. Three chords for the most part. G, C, D. Little variation just to liven it up a little bit, but we'll take a look at it. And I, I think it's very doable. If you can't do the variations, the three chords, it's all good. Right, and it kind of shows you why ACDC I think is so great with just three chords that everyone knows, and just, but just how you do them, how you put them together. So um, it comes in on a G, right? So what I tend to do is um, I play the G like this, if you can kind of see that down there, and I get my pinky stretched out to that fifth fret. Kind of sounds weird going slow. So what we're doing there is from the G to a D, right? So you're gonna arpeggiate those uh, first two or three strings, and we go into a D, and when everything kicks in, it kicks on a G. Now the key to a lot of these chord changes, you don't want it ringing out. We really want to kind of, so it's really strum it, second or two, and I'm using the hand to just basically uh, deaden the strings, you know, kill them as I go into the next one, so. And it's a little trickier than you think, because if you saw that, I just kind of screwed that up, but I, I saved myself with that C add nine move. So it would be, So it's G, C, G, C, G, D. It's all together. And then the font, the, the back end of that verse is G, D, G, D. All right, so put it together. So we're gonna go G, D, G, D, and that G again is kind of like ending the verse yet starting it over again. Uh, so keep that in mind. So that G is, is kind of pulling it all together basically, right? So we're gonna go there, and we're gonna go through the verse again. And what we do is, as we're coming into the verse, we hit that D, instead of going back to the G, it'll sound like this. Um, maybe it won't sound like that. <laughs> Let's try it again. So what we're going to do is the verse, you're only going to put, so as, as we're going into the chorus, as the verse is heading that way, you're only going to play the front end of that verse only. And here's how it's going to sound. So D to the suspended D, kind of back and forth if you want to. And we're going to go into the, the chorus is going to start down on the G. And I hit that bass note. Right? Because the bass notes are going to be kind of key with the chorus. So G. We're going to walk on that A string, the fifth string. Open two, three to that C add nine. C 
So we're going to walk it. And I'm going to go down three strings every time. One, two, three. Back to the B note there. One, two, three. To the D. Maybe I'm only hitting the strings, uh, two notes on those as I'm ascending or descending, depending, you know, what the, how you're looking at it. Now it is three strings if you include that bass note. Um, and that's a good part of the tune right there, and that's just going to kind of repeat everything. Um, done with the chorus, we go back to the verse. Continues there basically. Uh, we go back into the chorus again. Whoa. So the walk down's only on that A string. I don't know why I went to the sixth string on that one, but um, that's why we do these, I guess, to learn, right? So we learn from our mistakes. Anyway, we're gonna go into the solo from there. The solo is basically just a G, um, a G minor pentatonic shape. And I'm not going to walk you through it, but I think the key thing for this solo is coming in on a bend. So it's going to be on the um, the third string, fifth fret. You're going to, probably too much of a bend, but you're going to bend. And you're just going to kind of... So I don't know it that well, obviously you can tell, but G minor pentatonic. So um, you're gonna do it here, and then when it goes up in, uh, in, in the uh, the octave, you're just gonna bring everything from here to the 15th and the 18th, same box, same shape, just an octave higher up here. That's really it. The song repeats at that point, you know, you, you hang on it as long as you want. You know, if everyone's into it, keep going. Um, you know, make it free bird live, whatever you wanna do. But it'll work, people dig it, it's a good tune. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.